Hello everybody, welcome. Today I'll show you how to use the JSON Web uh, Token Package with Node and Express to authenticate routes for your Express API. The code you see before you is the one from the previous video, the Bcrypt video. I'll just build on top of that instead of starting from scratch. So starting off, obviously, you'll need the JSON Web Token Package. You can Google uh, JSON Web Token NPM or I'll have the link in the description and install it from there. Uh, while it's installing, I'll just copy this and start with it real fast so here when our user registers or logs in instead of just returning everything went well we want to return a token they can use to uh, authenticate when accessing our authenticated uh, secure routes in order to do that obviously we need to call the json te web token sign function so let's define a token right here so const token equals uh, json web token dot sign so now the sign function can take th three parameters um, the most basic version of it takes the payload so in our case the payload will just be the email usually here you would put um, some some info about the user their email their username um, the id the the row the id of the row uh, in the database stuff like that uh, in our case, we only have the email, so we'll just use the email. Afterwards, the second thing you want to put in is the secret, uh, which will be used to encode the token. And this should be kept completely private and not be pushed to the re repository. Usually, you would put this in a .env file, but instead of doing that, I'll just hard code it here. Uh, just keep in mind that in your own actual projects, you should not put it here in the code. I'll just say um, super secret. Thing. And then the third thing is the, th the third um, parameter is the options object. So the options object will contain the expiration date of the tokens, etc. etc. You can obviously read more about it uh, here on the actual page. Um, these are the options. So you can set an expiration date. So, like in one day, the token should expire. Uh, you should you can make an issue or audience, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to put anything there right now because. We don't really need that for this simple example. So then in uh, the response, instead of just saying all good, we'll return the token itself. We'll also be doing this when a user signs in. So right here, so if everything is valid, we wanna return a token in the same way. Do I have the email? Yeah, I do. okay. So currently let's test this out. Let's npm start the, uh, the API, okay. It works open postman send a request to slash register since i do believe i have nothing in the database yep so let's register test at email.com with the password test and uh, we got an error because it's a get request we want to send a post request we get the token let's do a login so if we log in to with this email and password which should be correct we get a token as well as you can see the token is different every time uh, which you know keeps it secure okay so currently we do get the token back uh, the next part is creating routes that will be secure so in order to do that let's let's create a simple get route uh, that will be slash test and so in order to secure routes we need to trigger some middleware which we will call the auth middleware authentication middleware which will check if the user is logged in and then if they should access to the route we'll call it auth middleware I'll just call off middle, but obviously in your app, you should name it in a, in a proper way. And then we'll have the route. So request response. And then, um, and here I'll say response send very secret number 10, right? So writing middleware, um, is, uh, something you should already know how to do. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, just go to express JS dot com and then you can go to guide writing middleware and then you can look look it up here it's it's actually uh, quite simple so I'll, I'll write it for you here though so i'll put it in a helpers folder i'll i'll create a new file in there named auth the dot js it will be a function uh, that will take in three parameters that's what express middleware takes in so a request the response and the next so in here, what we want to do is get the actual token, verify that it is a valid token. And then if it is call the next function, if it's not, 
respond with 401, uh, 401 which is uh, unauthorized. So first you want to get the token. So const token, right? So there's a few ways you can send uh, tokens uh, with your request. Uh, you could send it inside of the payload. So you could make it an object and then you could have like token and then token, right? And here we got the token and then data and then you would put the data in there. That's one way to do it. Uh, it's not very common. It's kind of sucks. Another more common way to do it is to create a header, the authorization header. And since we're using a JSON web token, you usually uh, the value inside the header will be something like this. So bearer and then the token value, right? Um, I already have a one here from testing before, but yeah. So let's actually get this value from the back end. So what we want to go get the token from is the request dot headers dot authorization. So we get the header value. So the header value is actually going to be bearer and then the token. We don't actually care about this first. I mean, we don't want to use that part to verify it. So what we want to do is split this by empty space. Okay. So now we want to check if token number the, the, the first thing in that array equals to bearer because there can be different types of uh, authorization um, headers. They can have different values. And usually the convention is that you put bearer if you're using a JSON web token. If you're using other things, you put other things. But for that, you should Google because, uh, yeah. So bearer in here, that should be bearer. And then the second thing, so if the, the first thing is the bearer and the second part of the token uh, is equal, uh, is a valid JSON web token. So in order to check that, we need to import the JSON web token package, motherfucker. And we can use the JSON web token dot verify function. It takes into parameters the actual token to verify, and then the secret. The secret is what is the secret in our case? It's super whatever I wrote there. That's I didn't want to copy all that. I don't know why that copied. So okay, no, that's fine. So this will verify if the token is is valid or not. So if it is, it will call the next function. If it's not right now, uh, it will error out because this will just like error out. And then this will respond instead. You could add a cust. You could put all of this in a try and catch block. And then um, if we go back to the actual page here. Uh, error, right, so you can see the error object right down here. Uh, token JSON web token error, right? So you could use this uh, and create. You could use to check if like if uh, in a try catch box. So I'll actually do that just to demonstrate what I mean. Um, so try and then catch. So what we want to do here. Is say if error dot name ooh, ooh, dot name equals 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 a JSON web token error, right? Uh, we can respond, you know, in a specific way, and th that way it could be response uh, send status uh, four hundred one, which means unauthorized. Yeah. So if it's if if the uh, to the error that occurs in here is the JSON web token error, it will respond like this. If it's not, it will go here and respond with this. Okay. Okay. So since we have this authentication middleware func uh, function finished, we want to export it for, from this uh, file. So module exports auth and then it here we want to import so let's, let's just let's say middle where and then const auth middle equals require dot slash helpers slash auth so we now have the auth mover imported and we have it here so we can actually test it now so but basically this is all that needs to be done here so let's uh, let's actually test it so first of all let's uh Let's actually log in. So log in. This is the token that we got from logging in. So bear and then we want to put is the token right here. So we can change this to slash test. 
make a get request yes um, this doesn't really matter so let's see what what this brings back very secret number 10 if for some reason we didn't send this header right it will return nothing uh, that shouldn't happen we should add here yeah we should the error handling was a bit off so boom boom else just do the same thing right so uh, unauthorized right uh, if we send this very secret number 10 if we let's say for some reason ch some someone tries to hack this and just put in a random thing so that they all they or they change the token by like one number one letter anything it will bring back unauthorized uh, and that's it that's that's all there is to it a very simple authentication middleware and we have authenticated routes obviously you can make this all more complex a lot more secure and obviously you should not put your secrets for uh for your secret for encoding your json web tokens uh plainly here uh, thank you for watching hope you learned something new and uh hope you can now authenticate your own application bye bye